Hey guys, so this isn't the typical videos that I usually do, but I thought it would be helpful and interesting to you guys, especially for Singaporeans, because we just started rolling out these rapid test kits for everyone so that they can test it themselves uh, and see if they have contracted the coronavirus um, and, you know, seek further medical attention. So um, I have here with me two of the top brands okay not really top brands but two of the more popular brands here in Singapore there are a total of about four brands that are approved by the Ministry of Health and these two are the most common ones if you visit Guardian, Unity or Watson's, these are our local pharmacies, um, these two are usually up there for sale. I haven't seen any other brands on sale yet, uh, but I have them here. So I'm going to do a few things today. Firstly, we're going to see how easy it is to perform these tests on your own. You know, how usable it is uh, as a layman. You know, I have no medical background. So this is a disclaimer. I do not work for the Ministry of Health nor the Health Science Authority. I have no idea about anything to do with medicine. So as a layman how easy it is to use these kits on our own how easy it is to read the instructions and also the accuracy you know not too scientific but the accuracy and how uh, the different processes are done because these two are actually slightly different test kits although they kind of have the same um, concept in mind so today we have the first brand which is Quidel 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 um, and this box comes in a pack with two test kits inside and this one costs about 20 Singapore dollars um, and next to it we have um, the Pan Bio by Abbott uh, this one is one of the first few that was rolled out um, and approved by the Ministry of Health uh, this one comes in a set of one maybe we'll start with Quidel yeah that sounds good let's start with Quidel so typically in a pack of two, you find a solution that's in this tubey thing. Um, you have two of these. Um, I only have one at the moment. You'll find two swabby swabs. <laughs> swabby swabs. Two swabs. Um, and also a um, test strip. So this test strip um, is going to be very sensitive. So don't open this until the very end where you actually need to use it to dip it into the solution. So there's a little nice holder on the tray that lets you um, place this really well on the table so you don't have to hold it or anything like that. And what we're going to do firstly is to start swabbing. Now of course these rapid test kits are made so that it's comfortable and easy for you to use so it's not as invasive as the actual swab test where you, it goes really deep into your nose. For this test kit by Quidel, it requires you to swab the outer, uh, the inner wall of your nose. So uh, it's not very invasive. So here we go. We're going to take out the swabber and I guess we're going to swab. It is also advisable to use a mirror um, in case you, you, can't, you can't find your nose or something. Uh, but here we go. We're going we're gonna to go around at least four times. All right. Then with the same swab, we're going to do it for the other nostril. Alright, that's kind of gross. Then immediately we want to um, open up the the uh, the solution and start to dip it inside all the way to the bottom. It needs to touch the bottom and we want to turn it and swivel it around for three to four times. And now we want to leave it inside for a minute. So I'm going to just put it here and uh, get my timer running for one minute. Alright, so in this minute, um, I can just roughly tell you that the instructions are very clear up to this point. It feels a bit wordy, but um, maybe when you're opening this up, go through at least five or six of these steps, read it through before you actually begin with the test. And it's done. Now that we have the solution, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the test strip. All right, so the test strip, there's a little um, peeling part over here. And you want to be careful with this test strip. You're not supposed to touch uh, the actual uh, body of the test strip. There is a little part for you to hold and that's the only part that you should make contact with. So if you can see it on the camera, I'm only holding it at the tip here and I shouldn't touch anything along this edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dip it into the solution and just leave it there for about 10 minutes. So 10 minutes on the clock and go. All right, so it is important to note that this test needs to be done pretty accurately in terms of how long this strip stays in the solution. It needs to be read at the 10 minute mark and anything beyond that, by five minutes, it's invalid. So you have that time frame between 10 to 15 minutes to read it uh, before the results become um, inaccurate. 
All right, we're back and we are about 15 seconds away from reading the test. Um, I must say this one is uh, pretty easy so far um, and pretty excited to see the test result. Even though I'm quite sure I don't have the virus, but always helps to be safe and uh, try these out for yourself. All right, here we go. So 10 minutes is up. Uh, and remember, you have to read it between the 10 minute and 15 minute mark. So anything beyond that, it's inaccurate and you should do it again. Um, with a new test kit. All right, so just out of the box, you can see that we have a blue line that's uh, on the test kit. So this blue line, let's just match it to here. All right, so for positive, I need a blue and a pink line. So it's not positive, that's great. Um, and if you go to the back, you'll see that it shows a negative if a blue line is shown. So they have a very nice little part here that you can place um, the strip to, to, to just check you know in case uh, you, you really need a very physical reference so that's very easy and very useful especially for perhaps elderly people who, who needed a very straight on comparison so we know that the blue line showed up which means it is a valid test so there's only two results from a valid test a positive or a negative and it is a negative result so yay I do not have the virus this is kind of gross I should have put this on the the manual but all right, so here we have the Abbott PenBio uh, self-testing kit. Um, it comes with a manual, of course, for the instructions. That's very important. It comes with its own tray. So that's where you're going to put the tube later on. It comes with a uh, test device. This device is sort of a plastic one, somewhat like a pregnancy test. You know, it's kind of a solid piece. Uh, it comes with a tube. Uh, this tube is where we're going to drip the solution in. Uh, we have the solution itself over here, just a small one. And of course, the swap stick. All right. So basically, uh, what we want to do is to firstly fill up the tube with the solution. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, the little vial here with the, with the solution, you just have to twist the little cap over here. Just twist it a couple of times and it should break off pretty easily. Oh, there we go. Um, and then we start to drip inside. There's, a, there's actually a marking line right here that tells you how much to fill up to. Um, so we're just going to drip a couple of drips in there. And what we're going to do next is we're going to swap. Now, before I swap it, um, this one is a slightly different process. Uh, the swap doesn't go around the wall of your nasal. It goes two centimeters in. All right. So that's going to be slightly uncomfortable. We're going to have to rotate it five times for each. Um, and then we're going to put it into this tube. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're going to swab it right now. We're going to go two centimeters in and turn. Uh, it's not the best feeling, but it's not very bad. Oh. All right, next one. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm tearing a bit, but it's not as bad as the actual swab. But we're going to have to quickly put it into the solution. And we're going to have to swirl it for at least five times. One, two, three, four, five. And they tell you to pinch the cotton part so that uh, they get as much of it on the walls as possible in the droplet. So you can pinch the tube. Um, all right, we're going to leave it there. Um, you can you are supposed to actually break this thing off. So uh, there's a little break point and just break it and you cap it. All right, so the good thing about this is that you don't have to wait for the solution to do anything. You actually squeeze it onto the test kit immediately. So we're gonna open up the test device. The test device is, uh, like I said, a little plastic thing, like a pregnancy kit. Uh, and it's pretty cool, actually. It has uh, a couple of indicators right there. It uh, tells you how many drops, five drops, and it shows you a C and a T. So the C stands for a control, and T, I think it's the test result. So um, to explain the thing, uh, I'll explain it after I've uh, started the test. So what you want to do now is take off the bottom cap. So the bottom cap of the tube, and that allows you to drip five drops onto the test kit. All right, so one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so once that's done, we're going to cap this off and we're going to set a timer for 15 minutes so this is different from the the first one where uh it's it's 10 minutes but 15 minutes on the clock 
and that gives me time to explain how the results will be read. So similar to the Quidel one, um, the results, um, there are three outcomes, an invalid, a positive and a negative. So like I said, it should have a control line that comes out. So a control line needs to be there in order for the test to be valid. Now, secondly, if the line comes out on the T value, it means that it is a positive result. If no line comes out on the T value, it means it's a negative. So that's pretty simple to understand. Um, there's no colors or anything like that. It's just whether you have one line or two lines. All right, so it's been 15 minutes and the test is ready to be read. Uh, like I said earlier, we have the control line, which means this test is valid. Uh, we didn't do anything wrong. The chemicals are working as it should. Uh, and to read whether it's a positive or negative, I need to look at the second line. If any line comes out on the T value, it means that it is a positive result. And right now there's no line, which means this is a negative result, which means I do not have the virus. So there we go. This is the Abbott Pen Bio test kit. So I guess why you guys are tuning into this video is to find out which of these I actually recommend. And to be honest, these two kits are both valid. You know, they are both easy to use test kits that are pretty accurate although the Abbott is said to be more accurate and uh, a bit slightly more expensive about two dollars more per test kit but ultimately I would recommend the Abbott uh, just for the ease of use um, and the price to accuracy ratio I would pay more for the accuracy um, in terms of usability it could use some improvements it's still easy to read and understand and perform the test but um, compared to the Quidel I think it needs a bit more improvements in the graphics and uh, the way they perform the tests uh, but yes this is my recommendation for you to go for the Abbott pen bio but if that's not available you can always go for the Quidel totally fine just get yourself tested and stay safe but i hope this video has been informative for you guys helpful in understanding how to do these test kits at home by yourself um, and if you guys like this video give it a like subscribe if you haven't and i'll catch you guys in the next one Oh yes, do visit the Ministry of Health's website for more information. They are the experts, not me. I'm just here as a layman trying to explain test kits. <laughs> Alright, catch you guys in the next one.